This study started with a forward genetic screen for zebrafish scoliosis mutants, which identified two missense alleles of scospondin. Both alleles started to show curves during larval development, which progressed to whole body scoliosis in adults. Scospondin is highly conserved among chordates and is the main component of the Reisner fiber. The Reisner fiber is an extracellular thread of glycoproteins suspended in the central canal. It is secreted by the subcommissural organ into the CSF of the brain ventricles and spans the length of the spine. The fiber is named after Ernst Reisner, who first described it in a lamprey in 1860. The Reisner fiber has been identified in many chordate species, ranging from sea squirts to mammals. A 2018 current biology report describes scospondin null zebrafish, where a wild-type animal makes a Reisner fiber and straightens its body axis during early embryonic development. Scospondin null mutants never produce a Reisner fiber and fail to straighten their body axis. This results in a C-shaped ventral bend, and they do not survive to adulthood. In contrast, the scospondin hypomorphs we identified initially make a Reisner fiber and develop normally for the first few days. But between 5 and 10 days, the fiber disassembles and curves appear. Staining wild-type animals with anti-Reisner fiber antibodies shows the Reisner fiber in the central canal and Reisner material accumulating at the apical surface of floor plate cells. However, in scospondin hypomorphs, the Reisner fiber disassembles and Reisner material accumulates at the basal side of floor plate cells. Next we looked at two additional scoliosis mutants, KIF-6 and DRUK. KIF-6 start to show curvatures at 3 to 5 days post-fertilization, while DRUK mutants don't show curves until about 3 weeks. In both cases, the Reisner fiber disassembled at the same time that curves appeared, at 3 days in KIF-6 and at 20 days in DRUK mutants. These mutants show us that the Reisner fiber plays a continual role in spine morphogenesis. To further investigate the Reisner fiber, we generated a GFP-tagged scospondin allele. We used CRISPR-Cas9 to cut near the stop codon and provided a plasmid donor with homology arms flanking the GFP coding sequence. We used PCR to identify a founder and established a stable endogenously tagged scospondin GFP line that allows us to visualize the Reisner fiber in a living animal. The scospondin GFP expression pattern matches what has been previously reported and what we saw with antibody staining. This allows us to visualize the dynamics of the Reisner fiber for the first time. Overnight time-lapse imaging shows the scospondin GFP material moving into the periphery at the fin fold. Imaging at high speed and high magnification, it appears that the fiber is moving toward the tail tip and material is continually extending and retracting from the fiber. To verify and measure movement of the Reisner fiber, we photo bleached a portion of it and captured time lapse images. We can see that the Reisner fiber is continually moving in a rostral to caudal direction. This video shows the development of the Reisner fiber during embryogenesis, starting at 20 hours post fertilization. You can see pieces of Reisner material streaming down the central canal from head to tail and eventually accumulating at the tail tip. If we watch the same process at higher magnification, we can see clumps of material traveling toward the tail tip and then a bolus of material leading the assembled fiber down the central canal. In conclusion, we have shown that the Reisner fiber disassembles when curves appear in three different scoliosis mutants suggesting that the Reisner fiber plays a continued instructive role in spine morphogenesis. We also confirm that the Reisner fiber is dynamic in vivo, with material coming on and off the fiber and the fiber continually treadmilling toward the tail tip. Thank you for watching.